Hi, this video is a special Christmas edition for the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2015 Grade 9-10 Contest Question 19, which also came up in the Grade 11-12 Contest. So the question is, the two wheels shown are spun about their centers. The arrows are fixed. When the wheels come to a standstill, the numbers pointed at by the arrows are added together. What is the probability that the sum is even? Well, if we have one number that is odd and one number that is even, well then the sum of those two numbers would be odd, which is not what we want. So therefore, for two numbers to make an even sum, both numbers would have to be either odd or both numbers would have to be even. Okay, now let's look at the diagram of the two wheels with their arrows. All right, now the event of spinning two even numbers is independent from the event of spinning two odd numbers. So therefore, the probability of spinning two even numbers or spinning two odd numbers translates to the sum of both of those individual probabilities. Okay, now let's write this. So we have P, which is equal to, and then we have the P of two O's, which is just odd and odd, and then we have plus the P of two E's, which is just even and even. Okay, now let's look at this probability of spinning two odd numbers. Okay, so for to that event, that would mean that we would have, we would be spinning one odd number here and one odd number here. And that means that both of these wheels, the spins are independent from each other. So therefore, the probability of spinning an odd number here and also spinning an odd number here, then translates to the multiplication of both of those individual probabilities. So this would be the probability of the first wheel spinning an odd number multiplied by the probability of the second wheel spinning also an odd number. And then we would have plus well, this would be the exact same then for the probability of spinning two even numbers because again, both those events are independent from each other. So we would have for the first spinner, that probability of spinning an even number multiplied by the probability of the second spinner, the wheel, spinning an even number. Okay, now let's look what we have. So for the probability of the first wheel spinning an odd number, well, the odd numbers are one and three, and that would be a quarter and a half is three quarters. So this is equal to three over four, and then multiplied by the probability of the second wheel spinning an odd number, well, the, the only odd number here is five, and that takes up a third of that wheel. So multiplied by a third. And then we have plus, then the probability of the first wheel spinning an even number, which is just, it would just be two, so one over four. And then multiplied by the probability of the second wheel spinning an even number, and that would be four or six, so that'd be two over three. Okay. So here, the three and the three cancel out, so it'd be one over four. And then we have plus, and here the two and the four would make one and two, so that would be like one over two times three is six. Now, if we add both of these fractions, 
the common denominator would be 12. Now 12 divided by 4 is 3, so 3 times 1 is 3. And then 12 divided by 6 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2. So we have equals to 3 plus 2 over 12, and now this is equal to 5 over 12. Okay. So the probability that the sum is even, that would be option C, 5 over 12. All right, now the key to solving this problem is to note that when dealing with two independent events, that the probability of one event or another event happening translates to a plus sign. And also that when we are dealing with one event and another event happening, an independent event, so one event and another event happening, that then translates into multiplication. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carerootests.com.